George. George. I have something for us to watch today, and it is it is a treat. We all know Andrew Tate. We all love Andrew Tate. Bang out machete, boom in her face, you grip her up by the neck. I don't believe in depression. Men are still doing their job, but I don't know if women are doing their job. How can you be high now in 50 minutes? Stop it! One brick is worth way more than a woman. I hate happy children. But he's been banned from social media platforms, so I've had oh. to I've had to find alternatives. So there's this guy who quite clearly very, very much wants to be Andrew Tate. Like everybody. He's, he's called First Man. And look, okay, hang on. First man. I was going to sleep with a girl and I found out she'd slept with a guy that was like a four out of ten. I'd be like, well, I'm not I'm not going there. Because uh, <laughs> you've obviously got low standards. I'd be like, if anybody can get it, I don't want it. Whereas if like her last three boyfriends were like Drake, some billionaire nice. son. I don't think people that are that are sleeping with Drake are sleeping with you, my friend. <laughs> I love that he's, you can see his, his eyes are like looking up to the right, like trying to remember the script that he's written himself. <laughs> Most guys aren't scared of rejection. You get rejected, you feel fucking fantastic. You walk away and you testosterone's up. What the fuck are you on about? Every God, guy's just, scared of rejection. God, whenever I speak to women, I hope I get rejected. It's such a <laughs> fucking rush. What a thrill. That's the only reason I do it. <laughs> Clearly, just gets rejected a lot. He just gives it back to his mates. That is why I went over there. Actually, I, I went there to get rejected. <laughs> he's just in denial. He gets rejected so often. No, no, that's that's why I went there. That's why I. Did do it! It's I do it! It's a thrill! And you get rejected, you feel fucking fantastic. You walk away and you testosterone's up, you feel exhilarated. You're like, I did it. I actually went over and did it. Yeah, she said no, but fuck, what a rush. I want to do it again. And he did it again, and she said no again. He did it again, and she said no again. <laughs> Surprisingly, no one's ever said, no, no woman has ever said yes to this man. I think that is the opposite of how people feel after getting rejected. I'm so exhilarated. <laughs> no, you're not. That's a lie. If a woman comes back to my place, boys, she's gonna be blown away. Like, blow. if she sees the way that I'm living, she's gonna be blown <laughs> away. My boys, earnings, my car. Your earnings, what? You yeah. just got it on like a cork board on the side of it. <laughs> Of his room. <laughs> Let me just take you over to my earnings. <laughs> the thing is, most women genuinely don't care. I went on a few dates with a girl, know. and I eventually I told her what I did, and I was yeah. expecting a big. <gasps> But no she, she literally just went, okay. Really Most women they, don't yeah. really care that much unless you're like, I don't, Drake. They just seek it out, men, in case they are meaningless. I've ticked all those boxes. All right, ticked mate. all those boxes <laughs> to be Andrew Tate. <laughs> <laughs> to be as close as possible to Andrew Tate, apart from... Shave I've... my head. <laughs> <laughs> I've built this frame. Sell online course. Oh, he has an online course as well. Oh, hey. oh, and uh, this isn't his actual account. He's got like his... his dis... Imagine being a disciple of this man. But he's got like <laughs> these disciples that have these links. Better looking man course. <laughs> You've got a course to be a better... <laughs> looking man. And it's work. 40 quid. Wait, so is the end goal looking like him? Yeah. Or is, or is, this, is this a before and after? Before and after. He's just taken off his hoodie. It's just a different lighting. <laughs> It's just in a different setting. Better looking man, see? Now you can't see me. Okay, so he'll teach you how to do whatever that is. Body fat loss, just go for a run. Yeah. Go to the gym, eat healthy. Muscle building, go to the gym. Neck and jawline exercises. Just suck a lot of dick. <laughs> Diet, skincare, grooming. More. Grooming? Yeah. Oh, I might have to subscribe to this one. <laughs> what I love about that is what he says he includes in the course is also very self-explanatory of how you do the course. So you don't, you now don't need to buy the course. Like, oh, I just have to do those things now. No, but this will be, he'll give you a proper diet plan that you you wouldn't oh, be able course. to get anywhere else. Nowhere else on the internet is worth free 40 quid. Plans. If any woman on the planet spent a week with me, they would fall in love with me. <laughs> I think this man has self esteem issues. I think he has too low of a self esteem. I don't think he thinks very highly of himself. That's why he gets rejected because he doesn't want every woman to fall in love with him. If they spend more time with him, they'll just love him so much. It's like it's like a superpower, isn't it? Yeah. Like, he, he needs to control it. With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> exactly. I can't go around with just like heaves of women following me. I must get rejected. So when it comes to, oh, she met me for 30 seconds and she said no. I'm like, look, it doesn't make any difference because I know she would say yes in the longer term. <laughs> the biggest what? stage of denial I've ever seen in my life. What the fuck? What the <laughs> no, I don't like you. You would have if you stayed longer. If a woman is 21 years old and she slept with 20 guys already, is that an issue? In my opinion, yes. Because she's too old. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you hear guys say stuff like, I want to join the gym, but I don't want to get too big. Number number one, that is wildly disrespectful. Why is that wildly disrespectful? <laughs> Firstly, that's so mean to us alphas. <laughs> Firstly, that's so alpha phobic. <laughs> you can eat like a beast, and after a year, you might only be like five key, kg heavier. Right, what was the point in this video? I, I, I don't know. There was no real end goal as to... He just sort of spoke, and we listened, and I feel no better. I've had at least 20, 30 women ask me, do you want to go for a drink sometime? Fucking hell. Shagger? Shagger? What 20 legend. to 30? Women? That is a lot of Blimey. women. Blimey! <laughs> God! Fucking hell, he's beating him off with a stick! Same line, female game is shit. Do you want to go for a drink sometime? You know, I've I've probably been rejected once out of like 100 attempts. I thought you just said you love being rejected. That is, I don't, I don't I thought, First man, I thought you 
said you love being rejected. I thought you said you're so used to it and you, you just enjoy the thrill of it. He just hates the one out of a hundred. He's trying to get it hundred out of hundred times. <laughs> I've been friends with certain girls for a long, long time. <laughs> Just bragging about being in the friend zone. I know girls. I'm friends with girls. I get rejected and I'm in the friend zone. I've been friends with certain girls for a long, long time. And you know, there's no real sexual interest there. Then they find out from somebody how much money you're making. Fuck off! <laughs> Fuck off! Oh yeah, because his banking account was on the lady boner. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. You just chatted so <laughs> much shit. It's such bullshit. It's such a, a weird like thought process. <laughs> Who actually believes that? I don't like, know. I guess people that haven't been on this earth long enough to realise that's untrue. When you get down to like sub. 14% body fat, you start getting women. Left, right, and center. Like as many as you want. Yeah, you know, whenever I go to the club, I'm always there with my in body, you know, just my in body analysis with my body fat percentage, skeletal muscle mass. They go wild for it. Girls always come up to me and go, sorry, mate, uh, just before we get things going, what's your BMI? <laughs> it becomes too easy. Like they don't really say no past that point. What? Yeah, after you, after you get sub 40% <laughs> body fat, girl, girls just can't resist you. You could be a massive bell end. I've met girls in the past where. I've not got their number. I've just spoke to them, whatever, and then next time I see them, or even that night, take them home, you have sex with them. And when they're leaving, they're like, I should probably get your number. Odds on this man being a virgin. I'm <laughs> saying one to one. One there, to one odds. There's no way that he has had sex in his life. This is this is the speech. He just doesn't even bother the speech anymore. He just shows his mates <laughs> this video when he comes back from being rejected. <laughs> Personally, don't think getting a girl's number is an accomplishment. These speeches are years of anguish built up inside of him. One thing that we're hanging in there for is sex. You know, grabbing her body, kissing her, whatever. You finally have sex with her and you're like, yeah, great. But then you realize like- I like men. <laughs> <laughs> benefits is on her side. Maybe 99% of the benefits is on her side. I don't know. I don't think you've been in very, some very good relationships, my friends. I think you need to find some, some better relationships. Well, that's the end of that account. But there's, uh, I think he's got an official account. Babe, use my condom. Yeah, sure. I was born yesterday. I came in on a banana boat. Like I'm the stupidest fuck face that's ever lived. It's, it's very easy to plan out your lives, okay? And if you don't plan out where you're going to be headed in like 20, 30 years. What? <laughs> is this stuff with a condom? What, yeah. what was that all about? Is he trying to say we're all just, we're just poke holes in condoms because they're so desperate for his baby? <laughs> they're so desperate to breed with this man. They're so desperate for their <laughs> offspring to be related to this alpha. He just comes in with a Ziploc bag so no, <laughs> nobody can touch these. I know they're mine. And I often get a comment on the channel, but Chris, what if I get hit by a bus tomorrow? But Chris, I could do everything you say, work hard, put all the work in, and get cancer in 10 years' time. So, you're wrong, your whole system is flawed, and it makes no sense. So, where's- why has this come from the console? I, I have no idea what the hell this bloke's <laughs> talking about right now. This is like an AI-generated script. He has no idea. He heard Andrew Tate speak quickly <laughs> and went, right, let's do it. But has like, no idea how to keep his brain whirring at the same speed. Letting my standards slip for comfort. That's dangerous. Dangerous is very similar to how I told you guys before, somebody goes through a breakup and they regress. They go, a seven broke up with me. I'm gonna find a six. No one thinks like this. No one thinks like this. I don't have their names in my contacts. I just have a number. <laughs> just their name in brackets and number. And if there's multiple sixes, it's six blonde, six brunette. By the time most guys get to like 28, they start looking like shit because they've just not taken care of their bodies. They've not been getting in the gym. But by the time most guys get- <laughs> What's the what? That's just, that's just a statement. It just ends. He didn't offer any advice. He didn't go, oh yeah, go to the gym, go, go eat healthy. <laughs> just, that was just, just depressing. What the hell was that? You might be afraid to like get on camera, to do something silly in public, to go and talk to women. That fear of fear holding you back is just unacceptable. All right. These are just weird statements now. If your testosterone's low and you just feel like a flaccid dick, that's me all over. You know, I wake up in the morning, I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm such a flaccid dick. I'm so fucking useless. My wife opens the door to my rooms. How you doing today, George? I feel like a flaccid dick. <laughs> I'm such a flaccid dick, mum. I'm just dick. not feeling it. No women like me, and I feel bad about myself. That's a great situation for you to be in. <laughs> What? <laughs> I guess it. I guess it's gonna say it's because you're at rock bottom. You can't get any like. Wait, what? That's a brilliant time to be. Just, just when you're at your lowest, that is fantastic news. Consumer point of view, you're gonna buy shit. You're gonna buy more products. Of course you are. What, like his products? That's great because you're gonna buy my shitty core. Going completely bald. I had like a sprinkling of hair on top. I wasn't really in shape. I didn't really have a lot of money. It was such uncertainty. I didn't know what I was going to do. I just left my job. You know, and today I'm sat here and I just like, I've got the life of like, 
a very small scale drug dealer. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's a weird thing to compare it to. Oh, I was... That's the weirdest flex ever. <laughs> I was in the worst position in my life, and now I'm pretty much a small scale drug dealer. <laughs> just, just, what? And that's... now I'm, I'm pretty much on the level of someone that sells weed to uni students. <laughs> and if you want to be like that too, <laughs> link in bio. Pretty much how to run a society. You know, the weaker the men are, the easier it is to control everybody. The women aren't going to rise up and fight back. Do you know what I mean? They're happy with the social lives. As long as they've got some dick, a little bit of money. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's trying to Andrew Tate himself, isn't he? Yeah. He's just trying to say the most outrageous <clears throat> shit ever. As long as they got a little bit of dick, they should be okay. Surely no one above the age of like 20 listens to this, this no, man. I think 20 even itself is a bit of a push. Yeah. He's making a large majority of the male population delusional. And I think everybody's trying to be Tate, but not everybody's six foot three MMA fighter exactly. with 500 yep. million in the bank. Hmm. And you go so, or net worth at least. And it's like, he's walking around going, fuck you, little hoe. And all these guys are doing it. It's like, you're not in that position. Like you said, it's context. Wait, hang on. Is he speaking out against Tate despite yeah. trying to be Tate? If you're a skinny little kid who's broke, you're gonna get exposed quickly. Some big giant of a man's gonna smack you in the mouth if you do the wrong thing. And a confident woman who's seen that shit before is going to rip you to shreds. That was a, that's a very weird take for someone who looks like you've just tried to make Tate in like Sims or something. <laughs> Alright, I've had enough of his TikTok. He's got a YouTube channel that somehow 120,000 people oh have subscribed to. Oh my god, to. Jesus. Oh, he sells supplements. Who the, who the, <laughs> do you want to take the first man supplement? What is it supplementing? I don't know. I don't, hang on, hang on. Male look. lifestyle supplement? What? I would not trust this man to give me supplements. The first gen, oh my god, all his videos are like 30 minutes long. I think you can kind of just tell what they are from the thumbnails. The CEO of testosterone meets first man. Doing stuff, laptop, airpod. Custom. <laughs> Imagine you find someone's lost airpods and say CEO of testosterone. I'm fucking frying them in the river. You just hear They'll over, never find them again. Hear over the tannoy of Sainsbury's. Just <laughs> CEO of testosterone. <laughs> Will the CEO of testosterone please come to the customer check-in desk? I thought I'd booked a, a taxi for this morning. Turns out haven't booked a taxi at all. This is an interesting vlog, God. I want to live the life of CEO of Testosterone. <laughs> click the link below. Oh my God, he's got a fucking school. How I I'm not going to click that link because that just looks like a virus. <laughs> just but... automatically apply for a school. <laughs> one on one mentorship, please. For what? Out, so you can just sit in a Zoom with him and be like, I would love to become an alpha, please. <laughs> if it, looking at him like this, when he's just not sad like little TikTok, he does look exactly like Andrew Tate. I can't tell if this account's satire. I don't think it is, but it comes across as such satire. Oh, yeah, because... with the name of the CEO of testosterone. Yeah, but I don't think it is. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Be sure to check out George's link in the description on the end screen. I want to, I want to say something funny, like, like, to end it off. Oh, oh, just woofing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's alpha. I'm, I'm a wolf. Oh!